Justin and I were Justin and I were just rapping a moment ago about how busy he's been and how kind of not busy you are right now. Yeah, yeah, I've been able to just kind of uh, take it easy. I just got off a South American tour, which is which was a lot of fun. Um, so you get two two shows and then you get a day off. So you know, I had a lot of days off and and it was it was fun. Who um, imposed this rest upon you? Was it you? Did you did you at any point ever say, "Man, I've been working hard"? And exactly. you have yeah, been. yeah, yeah. Me, I mean, my mom and I both were like, "Yo, you know, I'm gonna be run down, and I'm I'm gonna get sick of it if I keep going, going, going." Plus, like at the beginning, I had to. I had to like, I had, I wanted I wanted it so bad. I wanted to be where I am now, mm-hmm. and like I want to stay where I am. So you know, I gotta continue to work hard and you know to be successful. Have there been any regrets along the way? No regrets. None? No, none at all. No, I, I feel like, you know, all, everything happens for a reason. So I think that everything's been pretty straightforward. You've done so much, and I, I maybe you won't know until, you know, in retrospect, but do you feel like you've missed anything in your life? I mean, this pace, I don't know how you keep it up. It seems like every day, every award show, yeah, an artist wants you on, Alan needs you on, <laughs> every talk show host needs yeah. you on. Yeah, no, it's 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 a lot of fun, man. It's it's sometimes it can be overwhelming and stuff, but at the end of the day, I have I have a blast doing it, and I know that my family loves watching me, and and the fans love watching me, so I do it for them. Do you have ways to hide? Ways to hide, of course. Yeah, of course, I mean, yeah. I I don't want the secrets. But I go pretty low key. Are there costumes involved with you? And no, no, nothing no, like that. No costumes, but I I I stay low key. You got a Christmas album coming out. Uh, why? Number one, uh, what what inspired you to do that? Did you just say, "Hey, I'd like to do this," or did someone come to you with the idea? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. What well, what well, really the case was? I mean, I wanted to do a Christmas album last year, but it just never happened. But this year, it was like there was I haven't put out an album since last year, so like my fans really want to hear a lot of new music, and they haven't. And I knew that my new album wouldn't be done by the end of Christmas, so I wanted to give them some music to listen to and. And I, I think it's fun. Christmas all time, albums are fun, man. All time favorite Christmas song. Um, man, I love chestnuts. Yeah, yeah. Chestnuts roasting on an yeah. open fire. Yeah, one of my favorites. Who's your uh, Who's the Who's your favorite artist that's done a Christmas song that you look back and go, God, that was really good. It gets me every year. Mariah Carey. That's the one for me. Yeah, man. Is it because of that movie? It's be the movie for me. Yeah, yeah. Also, but just like her voice and and just like. It was just such a classic, and for me, I actually have a song with her on the album, mm-hmm. um, <coughs> and uh, it's really exciting because, like, I never really thought that it was possible. So, like, it's been great. Tell me, everybody you worked with for this record, you have Usher, Usher, the Christmas song, A Boys to Men, uh, Mariah Carey, uh, Busta Rhymes, uh, the band Perry. So we got a lot of uh, special guests. On Let's that. rewind back to Boys to Men because yeah. here's some guys that had a lot of success at a younger age. Were they tripping on you big time or what? They they have been really supportive and and, and giving me great advice. Um, you know, just to be able to just always stay humble and, and and you know they went through some some times where it was hard for them. So they were like, you know, anything could happen. Just make sure to always you know stay grounded because that's what's gonna get you through it. How do you go forward with the next record and the next sound? What do you want to do? I mean, it's got to be hard to wrap your head around what sound that the next Justin Bieber album is going to be. I want to be able to um, to make something different. You know, I, I want to I want to step out of of my comfort zone and try try something different. And I don't want to go too left where people aren't going to get it. Like, what is he trying to do right now? Like, that's not him. I want to kind of keep keep me but like step over here and, and kind of diverse a little bit and and try some other stuff you know kind of like like how justin timberlake did his future sex love sounds and it was like a whole different sound with the guitar over the drums and like just the vibe of it so i wanted to be able to make something different like that not like him but do my own thing certainly how do you explain that and how do you decide who to work with because i'm you know when you look at the list of people that want to work with you how do you choose and how do you decide and dice it up? You know, I'm, it's really about working with everybody. It's about working with everybody and then and then picking the, the right songs. It's like I'm going to do so many things and work with so many different people that I like that would be weird that I wouldn't really normally work with just to try to find something. 
And once I start finding something that I'm really comfortable with and I'm like, yo, I want to start doing this and going to that level, I'm going to go to these different producers and say, listen, this is what I want. Can you make something for me that's on this level? And then then from there, I'm just going to start making the music and, and finishing the album and hopefully um, start something new. There's no timetable. There probably isn't for this, right? No, I mean, it's like right right now, it's like we're, we're probably going to be releasing it with like January or February, March, so pretty soon after the Christmas album. So you have a lot of songs finished. Then. Yeah, we got a couple, yeah, but w- I'm going to be recording all through like from from now on to till then. So So you're not taking a break. No, I'm not taking a break. I'm just I'm just Earlier, slowing down. Slowing down. Justin trying to tell me he's taking a break and then he tells me, "Oh, I've got a new album coming out in February." I'm like, yeah. "Wait a minute. This isn't a break." No, it's not. I mean, it's not a complete break, but it's not like wake up at 7, do interviews till till 12, then go to a do a show and then go back. And like it was pretty crazy like going and flying on flying commercial from each place every day. It was like exhausting. Tell me your day now. My day now is like I get up at like 11, sleep in, nice. like, and then do school and then go like either to the studio or have interviews or, you know, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty laid back. Explain school. School, I do three hours a day. I have a tutor that, that travels with me. So, um, it's pretty cool. He, we learn about different things and school stuff. What are you good stuff. at? And what are you not good at when it comes to your education? If you can judge yourself, if, if someone's grading you upon a subject. I mean, I'm subject. good at creative writing. I mean, I'm good at creative Well, writing. who would have saw that coming? Yeah. I'm not good at, I'm not good at math. Or math sucks. Math sucks. You know what? There's calculators. And that's what I've always said. Exactly. Why can't we just stop with math already? Exactly. Two plus two is four. There you go, everybody. <laughs> we got math down. Five plus five is ten. There you go. On to the next subject. Exactly. My goodness. A uh, favorite track on the Christmas record. I like Falala, um, and I also like Drummer Boy. Did you change any of these songs up drastically? Obviously, I haven't heard any, yeah. any of these yet. Drummer but... Boy is um is really really different. Like the actual song Drummer Boy is like. Come, they told me, ba, 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 bum, bum. so we have that, and then it comes into like this hard beat, and then Busta Rhymes is rapping on it, and I'm rapping on it, and it's just it's a really fun track. What does Busta rhyme about in he Falala? Rhymes, <laughs> he rhymes about getting uh, toys for his kids. He raps about like it's really cool. You have to hear it. I can't wait to he hear talks it. Talks about um eggnog. It's really it's it's so tight. You're not gonna it, believe it. Is the album? Is it a funky? Christmas. We, we or... made the album a, a good Christmas fun album. Like, there's a lot of albums that like Christmas albums that are boring, but like we made it like fun and like energetic. Some things that kids are gonna like, fans are gonna like, adults are gonna like. It does it have a thump to it? Is there a it is, does... is there a specific flavor to it? Would you say it's kind of a hip hop Christmas or it's kind of a no? It's dance like a pop. Christmas. It's a pop. It's a R and B pop uh, and kind of dance Christmas. I mean, there's. There's some some dance tracks like in right now like this is in right now. Every song is like this. Right. So I'm mean, I'm not gonna be doing this my whole album. Right. Because this is like I'm getting annoyed with all this. Like this is just like too much. So I'm I'm trying to like do some different stuff. <laughs> is it uh? So is it safe to say that your next album won't be? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not. <laughs> I'm not gonna have that for my next album. Well, there'll be there'll be some there'll be a couple songs that I haven't incorporated, but I'm not. The whole album is not going to be like this. Right. <laughs> when you when you look at the tracks that you have finished thus far, do you have any favorites? Have there been throwaways? Um, what hasn't worked? What Th- hasn't put it worked? that way. Put, tell me about something you put down and you said, "No, nah, this isn't it." H- has that happened? Uh, somewhat. I mean, I tried a couple of things that you know, um, I thought would work. Um. And it didn't work. I'm not. I don't really. There's not really specific. There's nothing it's specific. Like, yeah. It's not a sound that didn't work. No, 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 no. I didn't like because like I can really. I love singing like every style. Like I, I did a song with with the pan the band Perry on my Christmas album. Like that's a country artist, and so it's like, I my voice like really goes on a lot of different different sounds. So I, I'm not really a sound didn't work. Just like some songs that just didn't work. I got gotcha. you. This journey thus far for you, what what has been, aside from, you know, getting all these fans and 
uh, accomplishing a mission that yeah. you set out to do. Yeah. What's been the most satisfying part about this whole thing? Uh, just being able to like travel the world, man, and see so many great places. Like I just got back from South America, and it was just beautiful. The 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 people, the you know the the everything about it was just amazing. And and just like I never I'd never been on a plane before. I I did this, so I don't know if I'd still be in Stratford. Never been on a plane right now. Like just chilling. So like it's it's pretty special. Who's uh, your favorite person that you've met that surprised you? That you went, wow, this is a pretty cool person. Probably, like Kanye West. Kanye? Yeah, he's just really, he's really cool. He's like, he's very like, he's a genius. Like in the studio, he really is. Is he a good teacher? Do you, do you yeah. look up to a Kanye, or do you play on even fields? How does Definitely. what's the conversation? How does that go when you're talking no, about I mean, music? When we, when we were in the studio, I was just kind of like cool, like talked about like personal things like just like everything but it was cool it's uh it's kind of interesting i i would think it would be kind of interesting because you share the same problems as any other upcoming musician that's exactly. now accomplished has and mm -hmm. it's probably interesting to talk about the things that you've went through that's, yeah. that's blown each of your minds collectively with any artist yeah, that you no, met of course of course yeah i mean especially like the, some of these new artists that are now coming in like you know the younger um, you know, teenagers that are, are starting to come up. It's like, you know, it's cool because like I was able to like, I was like the first person like really young, like within the past t 10 years, like other than like Britney and, mm -hmm. and them, but like it's it's really cool that I was able to start young and, and give a lane for these other teenagers. You seem so relaxed and it's, you know, it's been about a year and a half for us, I think. Yeah. You seem so relaxed. You seem good. You Thank seem you. really good. Thank you feel you. good. Yeah, I feel good. That's good, man. Life's been good for you, I Life see. Life has been good. I'm very <laughs> blessed. Keep the ball rolling, my man. Thank you. We're all rooting for you. Justin Bieber stops by Amp Radio. Yes. We'll take that any day. 97.1 Amp Radio. Look at him. We're going to sign him up as a DJ. Exactly. Please don't, because you'll just take my job. <laughs> Nobody needs that. No. Boy's got to work. You're good, man. You're better than radio than I am. I would be. Well, I should hope so. I've been doing it for longer than you've been alive. <laughs> what? A, here's the thing. He could start and figure it out tomorrow, and then in like three weeks, you'd probably be better than I am already. That's the thing about you. No, you just man. Got I, that I do thing, pick dude. up things fast, but you do. But I don't know. You picked yeah. up the interview. You, your life seems good. You seem relaxed. I, we're all looking forward to the record. I mean, there's not a person on the planet that is thinking that they're not going to listen to the whole album day one when yeah. you put out a new CD. Not, yeah. the, not the Christmas. The Christmas yeah. people are just going to love because it's the holidays. Yeah. But when your new album comes out, that's going to be one that every person is going to just sit down and go, what is this going to be about? And that's, yeah. you know, I don't and that's what the I'm trying for. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to, no, the pressure's there, you know. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to wowing people. That's what, that's what I want to do. I want people to, everybody to say, you know, I like this. You know, I didn't want to like it, maybe, but, like, I like it. So, that's Are you goal. more worried about what people think or the album that you want to put out? I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to make good music. At the end of the day, if I make good music, people are going to like the music, whether they like me or not. They can say they don't like me, and secretly they're going to be at home listening to my music. That's what I want. <laughs> oh, please. I can't tell you how many of my buddies are, baby, baby. Yeah. I mean, that is the jam. I don't <laughs> care what you, anybody man. says. Thank you. <laughs> it's a great song, man. Thank you. Justin Bieber on Amp Radio. Thank you, my man. It's great to spend some time, get back to vacationing, and uh, and we'll speak with you soon. All right, bro. There you go. Thank you, man. 97 Amp Radio.